Hello friends. First of all, let's see the wheel assembly of our RC car. See, this is a tire which I have removed from one of my old toy cars. I need to remove this from that car because the the road diameter as you can see the road diameter of this rim is too large it is approximately 7 to 8 millimeter which is hard to work with because if you need to cut a road of this much diameter it's a very difficult task so i need to change the road diameter for that i have just 3d printed uh, one of my favorite designs uh, of the same size as you can see the road diameter is approximately uh, 2 or 3, 3 mm uh, with a lock slot engraved into it so it is very easy to install and it will not slip around so let's place this let's remove this tire from this old rim and place it in our new brand new 3d printed rim Okay, we have removed it and let's place it in our, our new rim. As you can see, it perfectly fits our, our new rim and uh, I have measured the diameter of the old rim before printing this three, uh, new rim and it is accurately printed of the same size so you can see it fits perfectly onto the new rim so friends let's see how we place our steering assembly into this new printed rims in fact i just forgot to switch on my camera before inserting these components and it is uh, fixed almost fixed permanently with the help of m seal so i cannot remove it but i will explain how i have done it first of all i have inserted a 3 mm rod into the uh, into this holes of the ring and over which i have placed a 3 into 10 into 3 into 4 into 10 mm bearing ball bearing small metal bearing as you can see here there is a bearing placed over here that is of 3 mm diameter and which it, it just slips into that 3 mm rod very easily and just lock into that position because there is a stopper placed here and it will just sleeves into and stops at that position over which i have placed a 3d printed steering assembly with a 10 mm hole over it as you can see it fits perfectly onto that bearing and rotates smoothly and on the other end of the road i have just placed and fixed and glued in a universal joint as you can see it is a universal joint which i have 3d printed i don't know how about the elasticity or the endurance capability of this uh, so i had just need to try out the endurance level of this 3d printed universal joint for which i have printed one of this kind and fixed over it now let's place the other portion of the assembly before that we need to secure the position of the assembly so for that we will place some locking mechanism over here for which I am using a piece of 3mm rod The 
as you can see this is a lock nut which I have placed it will hold the position of the second part of the wheel steering assembly and you place it over it let's insert it some more inside Now the position is almost secured. Let's place some glue over it. Let's secure the position. Now let's fix the other end of the steering assembly. See, as you can see, there are grooves printed onto this assembly on both sides which will help in keeping the position of the assembly As you can see the lower joint is already locked with the help of the lock nut which we have installed in the upper portion we will lock oh, oh. I just forgot to keep the universal joint straight let's place into this hole and secure the position now the position is secured and we can lock the position with the help of this lock nut okay there was a slight problem in sliding the lock nut inside so i have to make the grooves a bit smooth now the grooves are smooth we can place the lock nut easily into it. As you can see, both the upper and lower end of the lock nut of the assembly is locked with the help of lock nuts. And the universal joint is placed exactly in between. So you can see the joints are functioning smoothly even at a 45 degree tilted position.